Hello everyone, my name is Norma and today we're going to the Caesars Buffet. Today is Thursday, May 20th and it is the grand reopening of the Bacchanal Buffet at the Caesars Hotel. Um, it, they've been closed for a while, way over a year since March of 2020, uh, but I am not here alone today. As always, I'm going to have Jake Cation with me. What's up everyone, it's your boy Jake Cation once again. We have to do a part two of buffets, so glad to be back with Norma. Yeah, this is a huge buffet. I think this one location is going to be good enough for one video, so we're going to go ahead and get in line. My reservation was at 4.15. Uh, it's almost about time, so I think we're going to go and get in line. I think we start with a shot. Oyster shot. Oh, I was gonna be like, shot? <laughs> all right, cheers. Cheers. You know it's a good buffet when you have all you can eat oysters. While we're at it, I say we do a scallop. I guess not a shot. I guess we could just eat it, but oh my god. Scallop straight out of the shell. Like, that's impressive. Mm. This was good, but the oysters, for sure. We're gonna go ahead and try this lovely bisque before it gets cold. Ooh, damn, that's all big chunks of Ooh, crab, like right? sorry, lobster. Sweet. Yeah? Mm. Yes. That's a really good lobster bisque. That's a super good lobster bisque. Yeah, yeah, like it's the right amount of creaminess. So before we get too excited here and start grubbing on everything, just a little bit of information. They are only open right now Thursdays to Mondays from 4 p.m. to about 10 p.m. It's gonna be $64.99. Plus tax, so it was about seventy dollars. Um, it is a little bit on the higher end, but we understand prices have gone up on everything. And I do recommend uh, make a reservation. We made ours on Open Table because it is opening day. There was no like room at all. You had to have a reservation, so just make sure to go on Open Table to make yours. But now for some crab. I haven't had buffet like all you can eat crab in forever. They're actually re really easy to open. What? Hey, that was for you. Thank you. Butter right here. Mm. 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 They did offer both steamed crabs, but we ended up getting the cold crabs up to you. I'm completely fine with either. So we already did have our regular oysters with lime, but you can't resist barbecue oysters. Come on, guys. You, you can't say no to barbecue oysters. Like, what? Mmm. Mm. That's good. What? Ooh. Ooh. That's a little spicy at the end. Ah, yeah, that is spicy at the end. You get that spice? A bit. Definitely taste. Wow, I need water. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like scraping this because, and there's like no more left. I'm just like, <laughs> all right, Norma. I know you're excited. Mm -hmm. The bone marrow. Yeah, this is like huge. I mean, like this is a really big serving. They did not scamp out on this. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Ah, there's melt in your mouth. Goodness, right there. Absolutely. If you've never had bone marrow, it basically just it kind of tastes like you're eating. Fat. I hate to describe it like that, but it's like very soft. There's no need for chewing, absolutely. And then it, it's kind of like drizzled with some sort of like sweet sauce on top of it. Yeah. So it's like a little bit of sweet, a little bit of savory too. So we got two types of meat here. We have our American Wagyu, and then we also got prime rib. First is gonna be the prime rib, a little bit of au jus. Mm. Mm. That's very peppery. You can get the salt crystals there. Yeah. He, he like did a little mm -hmm. salt bay on, on like, our meat. <laughs> so far, I'm like even more excited now to try the rest of this place. Yeah. We literally probably got through two stations. There's like nine. <laughs> yeah, seafood and meat is all we've done. So yeah. seven to go. Right way to start though. And we only have what, a 90 minute limit, I think. I know. Ooh. Okay, so for this American Wagyu, we're gonna try a little bit with the crust, a little bit of fat in the back. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, the fat's good. But yeah, for Wagyu, it has like a very distinct taste. 
Yeah, definitely, definitely in that wagyu. Jesus. And we cannot leave without trying some stone crab. Uh oh. Oh, oh that's pretty easy. So far, it looks like all the seafood here is pretty easy to open. Maybe for you. <laughs> they even have lobster claws. Just the claw. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that was a clean. Kind of clean. Just gotta dig in and get that get meat of it. All out. Wow. Ooh. Second course, we kind of went a little bit crazy. Uh, we just kind of grabbed a little bit of everything. Just there we go. Yeah, we went a little bit of Asian food, some Italian. I think there's a little bit of Middle Eastern food too. I kind of really want to try this spam masubi. They gave it. It's like the tiniest little spam masubi. They're like sushi size. I've never had one this small. Little mini masubi. Look at this. I like it. It's just enough. <laughs> Cause there's so much that I, I couldn't eat anything <laughs> more than that. In case you've never been to a Baganal buffet, everything's already either pre-portioned out for you, or if they make, they have like really small serving sizes. Best idea ever. Duck? Duck. Let's do duck. They had like this platter laid out of duck. It was so beautiful. You can have either, you can have either like a full leg or just have like little pieces. So up to you. We just got the little pieces. It looks so crispy. Let's have it. So crispy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is very like, felt, it feels very authentic. Mm -hmm. I, I think so. It's like a light crisp, but it, like, it's like melted in the fat in a way, right? Yeah, it's like, so it's like a little crispy, but it's kind of thick. I know a lot of people say don't get pizza But in a it's buffet. just too good. Yeah, it was, what was it? Mushroom? Yeah, it's like a mushroom cheese. Goodness. Okay. Just think of this. Like something similar to this at Italy, a slice is about $11. Yeah. And you can get this as much as you want here. Garlicky. Yeah. And the bread's lighter. It's not like a your consistency of normal pizza bread. It almost kind of reminds me of like a focaccia style. Mm -hmm. And I hope you guys know I love any type of charcuterie, so we just could not help ourselves with a little bit of salami, pepperoni, prosciutto. Thinly sliced ham right here. Very thinly. We also got this uh, gazpacho <laughs> soup. I was really excited to try it. Uh, it looks like it has like a little bit of oil, some uh, seeds in it. Let's see. There's like a chili oil in there actually. It's a little spicy. Right? Mm. There is some chili in there for sure. Yeah. That's nice. Ooh, it's I'm a little crying. spicy. I'm, I'm at the crying, end. guys. <laughs> like I'm burning up too, but I just I can't stop. I'm not crying anymore. <laughs> Jay insisted on getting some tortellinis, so why the heck not? Mm. It's really creamy though. I really like the crunch actually from the from these greens with the tortellini. It's like a perfect combination. So the buffet happen to have chicken adobo, and uh, Jay is gonna be the judge of that since he has Filipino, so he's gonna tell us if it's actually good. All right, here we go. Yeah. Good. I think I'm used to having like a whole rice with the adobo and all the sauce. It's a good try. It's good. I just like that they're representing the Philippines over in the Asian section. That's cool. Yeah. There's a whole Mexican section we still need to get to. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and give this pork skewer a try. Mm. Oh, yummy. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I don't think I can eat any more than that, but it's good. <laughs> it has like a lot of fat on this pork skewer. We're done with the Asian Italian cuisine. On to round three. We got a little bit of everything. We got some tacos, a quesadilla, uh, some pozole. I think we should try this taco first. Okay. Got an adobado taco here. It's so different, like they're so like fancy here. Definitely, I feel you on the line. It's no tacos or gordo, but it's so good. <laughs> okay, and then Jay got some horchata. Yep, we'll try it out. In case you don't Ooh. know, it's rice milk. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I actually really like this. That is nice. It's like sweet, cinnamony, and it's not too strong. Like, 
what I mean is it's not too sweet. Like there's some horchatas out there that I'm like, that's a bit much for me. But no, this is good. This is like, it's light. And then this one was really interesting. It was a duck carnitas quesadilla. It's a little twist on some Mexican food there. Mmm, mm, that was good. Oh my God. It's good. You can taste like a little bit of beans in there, the cheese, and then I guess the duck is on top. It's not inside of the quesadilla. Oh yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's this <laughs> on my leg. Your what? <laughs> oh my God, pull up. <laughs> That was so spicy. That was a little spicy. Wow. Ooh. Whatever sauce is on here. God, Jesus. Some beautiful looking guacamole there. Forget Taco Tuesday, it's Taco Thursday. That's fresh. Fresh yep. guacamole, yep. Ooh, let's try. Mm -hmm. mm, wow. That is really good. Like, it's yep. not too limey. There's no uh, raw onions in there. I, I taste a little bit of like either cayenne or paprika in there. Mm -hmm. That is some amazing, very fresh, cold guacamole. And now my uh, pozole. This is a little different. Like I, I think this is pork pozole. I'm usually used to it with chicken. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's some really good broth right there. Obviously the lime helped. Oh yeah. That is really good. good. I'm actually really impressed. Before we jump over to dessert, just to let you guys know, there is no unlimited drinks of any kind. Um, you can buy mimosas, uh, cocktails, beer, wine, whatever you like, but if they don't have any unlimited options. I'll go ahead and I'll put the beverage menu right here so you can see the prices. But what's interesting is that there's a QR code at every single table. They have a vegan menu, vegetarian menu, gluten-free menu. So whatever preference you have, they're gonna have everything here. everything here for dessert obviously everything is also pre-portioned we got this really beautiful bread pudding uh, it's like a cinnamon roll but bread pudding style mm. uh, Mark or butter too it's like drowned in yeah. that sauce buttery sauce whatever that is it's so good wow it's like able to keep it a little bit of crunchiness but it's just like so moist. Oh. Get a little bit of creme brulee, you know. Pickles. Yeah, I don't think you can hear the crack. <laughs> okay, serious time. Inside here. jokes, guys. If you want to get that, watch my buffet in Vegas video when uh, South Point and uh, Cosmo, re Cosmo reopen. You'll see why. In, yeah. in my defense, it was nine in the morning, <laughs> and I never eat at nine in the morning, and I was just out of it. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, that's very smooth. Like, really smooth. I'm all lots, it. lots of vanilla. Very satisfactory creme brulee. Mm -hmm. Well, this one's really nice. It has a good presentation. It's like a mango mousse uh, inside of it. So it looks really good. Mmm. It's like a mango pudding. I think it's my favorite one so far, actually. And well, I'm excited for this ube right here. Mm. Shout out to Bacchanal for including some ube desserts. That's the that's the quick way to my heart right there. <laughs> mm. It's like an ube mousse cake. Mm hmm Exactly. This one I got for pure fun because I mean it looks like a pot of dirt uh, with a plant right here at the top, but it's really gonna be like a chocolate mousse cake. Whoa. That's a lot of chocolate. You can definitely taste more of a dark chocolate on this one. Finally, beignets. Those smell like a donut. Mm. Chocolate filled. Wow. Yeah. Mm. It's like a Nutella beignet. Mm -hmm. So we did end up doing two dessert rounds. We ended up getting some gelato and then a crepe. He ended up grabbing an, an egg tart just at the end there. I got a blood orange gelato and then strawberry at the top here. And I got the ube and the strawberry cheesecake. I've never seen a blood orange gelato, so I'm really interested to see. That's very good. I, I thought it was going to be a lot more tart, more sour, but no, this is like really nice. Like, it's very light for, the, for it being a strong fruit. Oh yeah, this strawberry cheesecake is good. That's thick. Wow, that's so thick. 
in a good way. If you do come here and get some gelato, I think you guys would really like the blood orange and then hit the strawberry cheesecake. I agree. That was good. Yeah. And for the crepe, they, they just make it right there. You then you yourself uh, top it. Um, they could put like Nutella on top of it if you want, raspberry sauce. And then I topped it off with a little bit of bananas foster and then some uh, strawberries, other type of berries. And you can't forget your whipped cream. Mmm. That's so good. Try it. Oh man. This is a good crepe. Banana. Raspberry. Oh yeah. Overall. It's worth the $65 for sure. Yes. <laughs> worth the $65. Um, I know too a lot of people, you know, we're all gonna remember those days when a buffet was $9. Yeah. I remember my cheapest buffet was at the Rio Hotel and that was a carnival buffet and it was $9 and I thought that was expensive for a buffet. I remember going to Circus Circus and having a $4 buffet. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. that. So we're in a different time now. Um, it is gonna be $64.99 again, but definitely worth it. Just think it's, it's almost like having an upscale dinner. Mm -hmm. experience and they show love to different cultures like the Philippines Mexico um, Thailand and Italy so many other yeah lots of seafood lots of um, meat huge dessert stations so again it was nine stations um, yeah I'm just I'm so happy that this is back in our lives like I think we were all waiting for this one to come back and as always make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe share it with your friends tell me what you would have here at this buffet and then don't forget to subscribe to Jay's channel for a lot of cool San Diego content and um, a few collabs that me and him like to do yeah there'll be a few more on our channel so check it out okay thanks so much for watching I'll see you guys next time bye while we're at it <laughs> Hi everyone! <laughs> See, I didn't even practice any of this. Okay, what is this? Scallops. Yeah, there you go. Pickle balls? Pickle balls? <laughs> hey, it's one of the biggest in the city, so I think one video is... Uh, <laughs> a little bit of rice. Did you want, did you want some? <laughs> no. Sorry. So before we get a little bit too excited, just a little bit of information for, about the Bacchanal buffet. Uh. Ow! Look, I got a boo-boo. Did you really? See? <laughs> Barely anything. <laughs> you know, it's a little nick. My name is Norma, and today, we're going to the Caesars Buffet. Oh my god, you might need to hold it a little bit. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's a little She's bit too easy. trying to kill me, guys. It's a little too easy to crack these, wow. I didn't read any of it. you. No. Carpaccio. <laughs> I know what carpaccio is. Um, carpaccio is what you no. eat. What's the meat? Bruh. Oh my god. We like can't remember anything. Go back. Let's no. I'm gonna look it up right now. It's like cold soup. It's cold soup. Oh, gazpacho. Gazpacho. <laughs> That's why I said carpaccio. Carpaccio. Got it. Whoops. All right. Do you remember what it was? Like carpaccio soup. No, gazpacho. Gazpacho, carpaccio, carpaccio. No. Well, with this tomato, tomato. The fruit, the for the vegetable. This one's in yellow. Squash. No. Whew. Oh my arm. <laughs> this is a heavy camera. They even have lobster claws. Just the claw. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> That's what you want to try. Oh, <laughs> Why are you crying? Like, you really crying? Huh? Oh, really? Like, there's something in my eyes, dude. Mm -hmm. So we got a little bit of everything here for dessert. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you get a little bit of flan here. Creme brulee. <laughs> flan. I said flan. Close enough. Oh, and then, oh, I thought this was chocolate. Never mind. Anyhow. <laughs> Look at the charcuterie board. Like a cup of dirt. Like, yeah, like a pie, and then this is gonna be like the. Why the can sprout. I, no. Plant. The plant. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doing every, everything on that. Hi, <laughs> Okay. Good to meet you guys. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I'm Chris. I'm from Nashville. <laughs> You're so heavy. <laughs>